Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's video, I have another bulk lot purchase to go through. It just came in the mail, and it's 15 pounds of what looks to be late 90s and early 2000s Lego. So let's get started. All right, so I've just dumped this out, and I've just glanced through, you know, the top surface of this. I haven't really gotten to see a whole lot, but I have seen some really cool pieces so far. I am very excited about this lot. This is kind of a hard era to get Lego from because... In the early 2000s when Adventurers was popular, all of that stuff is super expensive. So I'll show you first what I saw kind of on the top of the lot that made me go, I want to try and get this lot. And that was this guy. Mismatched, but an elephant. And if you know anything about the elephants, they only came in two sets, both of which were adventurer sets and both of which are sets I do not have so it was kind of my hope that maybe one if not both of those sets would be in there just glancing through this I'm not thinking it will be something that I can part together I have not seen any elements of the scorpion palace or the little elephant caravan sets other than this guy right here which is fine because I've been parting together so many sets lately. It's probably for the best that I get a lot that's strictly for resale on Bricklink. But it was worth the effort to try and get it. So I don't always remember to do this, but I paid about 105 for this lot. It's 15 pounds. It does contain many figures. I could really only see what was on the very top of the lot and 105 does include tax and shipping so for 15 pounds that's a pretty good deal in my opinion so I'm ready to dig on in let's see what else besides this magnificent elephant is in here oh one other piece when I saw this lot I could only see like part of this sticking out with the white side up so I did not realize it but it's actually part of Hagrid's hut and even though it's been mixed in with this lot it's still in pretty good condition I think laying it under a book for a little while will probably flatten out the rest of it but I have seen this as well as some other parts that make me think there is some early Harry Potter mixed in and then one more thing was there were some of these Orient Expedition cards mixed in as well. I never played those games. We had, between my brother and I, we had pretty much all of the series, but, and we had the cards, but we never played the game to my recollection. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> um, it's kind of cool. This looks like more recent castle, like maybe kingdoms. I definitely recognize this, but I don't think this is quite as old as some of the other stuff in here, but definitely lots of chunks of things mixed in. Ooh, it's a little boat. I've never seen it in this color before though. So this little boat in light gray only came in one set which was an adventurer set. Orient Expedition to be exact, it's from the Jungle River set, which is 7410, which came out in 2003. That set is only 62 pieces with one minifigure, so maybe there are some minifigure parts mixed in here. With it being so small, potentially I could part that one together, we'll see. Aquazone Dome, it's one of the large ones. A sock. <laughs> so that's early Harry Potter. Dobby, R.I.P. Uh, spoiler alert in case you haven't seen it. Or read it. <laughs> okay, now I'm excited. I had no idea this piece was in here. That's Old Castle for sure. And it's in really good shape. So that's from either the Black Falcon's Fortress or Black Knight's Castle. Um, obviously, I don't think it's the Black Knight's castle because th that base plate is not in here and the black falcon's fortress was released twice so once in 1986 and then as a legend set in 2002 so with this being like early 2000s my guess is this is the re-release from 2002 and 
that's like a bucket list castle set for me. I've been saving a lot of the panel pieces as I've been finding them. So maybe I could piece that together. That would be like an absolute dream come true. But either way, totally obsessed with this piece. And again, it's in really good shape. A lot of these pieces, a little dusty, but look like they're in really good shape. Like they were probably played with in the early 2000s and then put away and they haven't been touched since. Off to a good start. Oh, this is definitely my childhood right here. I don't have all of these from the McDonald's, the Bionicle sets from the McDonald's, Happy Meals from this era. So completing that collection would be pretty cool too. There's some more elephant parts. I don't have this one either. Really like the sand blue feet they used for him. Someone had a couple of these. Those are the little Draco Malfoy and the Remember All sets. Got an Aquazone head and what I think is a Star Wars torso. My guess is it's probably the A-Wing fighter from 2000. It does come in two other sets, but they're from 2006 and 2009, so I don't know. With the age of the rest of the pieces, my guess would be the A-Wing Fighter from 2000, set 7134. Cool. It's an interesting printed dish piece. My guess is probably Star Wars, but let's see. I'm not even going to pretend that I know how to pronounce the name of this set. It is a Star Wars set, set 4478, which I love when they do this. They they have it listed twice on brick length because the color of the box was different. So whether it was a black box or a blue box, they must have released it in 2003 in one color and then 2004 in another color. So I'll let you look that one up <laughs> and someone can tell me how to pronounce it because I definitely don't know. So we've got some Harry Potter, some Castle, some Aqua Zone, some Orient Expedition. I mean, this is like my favorite haul of all time right now. Some more panel pieces. This Castle guy. I'm thinking that's whatever this is. I think they're the same era. Got a white lerp. I actually don't know what the white ones go to. So they're the Zalax Racer set that this goes to, which I do already have that set. And then two Orient Expedition sets, the Temple of Mount Everest set 7417, or the Yeti's Hideout set 7412. I don't think I have either of those, so great sets there. Couple little base plates. One of these classic flying dinosaurs. Got a lion knight. Unfortunately, he is cracked, but still a cool minifigure. What do you all do with your cracked minifigures? Because I can't bring myself to throw them away, so I have a huge bucket. You see how he looks really good? You wouldn't even know, but nobody wants to buy the cracked ones, and I can't bring myself to throw them out. I'm trying to find a new use for them, but I haven't come up with anything yet, so if you have any ideas, let me know. Orient Expedition minifigure. Nice Octon minifigure. I don't know what's going on here. Some sort of string disaster. These are like my favorite windows, these old school lattice windows, especially since this one's in the original brown color. I love that. I think is Privet Drive. What? Now that is super exciting. I don't know much about, you know, the superhero lines, but I do know 
the Green Goblin. I was growing up during the Tobey Maguire era of Spider-Man and I did actually really like those movies. I've not seen any of them since he was in them. <laughs> but I do remember this minifigure. It went to the Green Goblin set 1374 from 2002. Really cool minifigure. Maybe the rest of him will be in there. I do know that's Star Wars. Pirates, there's a little bit of everything in here. Oh, <gasps> yes, there's the rest of them. Such a cool head. He's missing a hand, but I actually have an incomplete <laughs> torso for him already, so I can definitely combine the missing hand from that one with this one. Super exciting. Nice blue book, medium blue book. Kind of Star Wars. I don't know if that's General Grievous or not. Don't quote me on that. I'll look him up. <laughs> okay, I do believe it's actually General Grievous. Not bad for my limited Star Wars knowledge. So he came in a Comic-Con set, but other than that, he only came in one set from 2007, which is General Grievous's Starfighter, set 7656. Interesting. I guess is probably Star Wars for that as well. There's a lot more Star Wars in here than I was thinking. Earth Orange Broom. It's Harry Potter. A white burp. That's from Aqua Zone. Neptune's Discovery Lab. I don't know if it's in any other sets, but the Neptune Discovery Lab is one of my all-time favorite sets. Got a dish in orange. I think this came from SpongeBob's house. It was used in three different versions of his of sets that contained his house. The other two sets it was in, I don't think are it. So I think it was probably one of the versions of SpongeBob's house, so random there too. Oh, <laughs> now I'm definitely convinced. It's got Gary. So cute. Another adventurer's minifigure. Soccer ball. Oh, that's a classic favorite piece of mine from King Leo's Castle, as well as I think at least one other smaller set. So that'd be my guess is it goes to the smaller one, just since there isn't any kind of large raised base plates included. Got a classic cannon, another one of my all time favorite pieces. Oh. No, that goes to Gringotts Bank, the original one from like 2001 or two. Love these corner panels as well. And I think that goes to the fortress I was talking about earlier. Same set, I'm pretty sure. Lovely lion brick, another favorite of mine. I'm gonna say that a lot because everything in here is just like, my absolute favorite era of Lego. This classic door. They should bring those back if they've been discontinued because these are great. I really like the ones that come in green. I know he's Star Wars. I just found his head in another lot recently. I'm trying to remember what his name is. Palpatine, got it. Emperor Palpatine, pretty sure. The only reason I know these is because my brother was really into Star Wars Lego when we were growing up and I would hear the names. So Palpatine and General Grievous were two that I remember him saying all the time. Ooh. Classic motorcycle. It's a little bit on the older side. That's kind of surprising. 
That is a gigantic windscreen. So the only set in this color this came in was the Crystal Explorer Sub, which is an Aquanaut set. Set $61.75 from $19.95. And I think that might actually be the last one I need to complete that line. It's interesting. Looks like Rock Raiders. These poor guys rarely survive <laughs> bulk lots. They're always missing pieces. Of course, chrome gold. I'm obsessed. This came in one of my very first sets that my grandparents gave me, so I definitely love it for that reason too. The jug, another one of my all-time favorite pieces, probably from Harry Potter. Brown owl. Owls are so cool. They just don't make them like they used to. Okay, so there is so much stuff here. Honestly feels like a lot more than 15 pounds, but I don't have a scale that works for that, so I'll trust them on that one. I'm so impressed by this lot. Definitely got my money's worth out of it. I could pull out a thousand more exciting pieces, but I don't want to have to edit for any more hours than I already do. I know you guys always say you want longer videos for these, but it is very time intensive to edit these and for the little money I get paid for YouTube is just not worth it right now. In the future maybe, um, in that event, you know, like and share this video so that more people follow and then maybe I'll be able to make longer content for you guys. But I am really excited to start washing this and going through it a little further and seeing what else is in here. If there's anything worth completing, I will. If not, all of this will be on BrickLink in the next couple of weeks then. So a really exciting lot and it's from one of my favorite eras of Lego, which is even more exciting. So again, if you did enjoy this video, like and subscribe and I will see you all next time.